might the car of the future look like? One possibility seems to be hands-free driving. One day, cars may drive themselves, even responding to remote commands sent by online communication. Here, the future can already be glimpsed. The research vehicle made by the University of Karlsruhe has 360-degree cameras and can steer itself on test runs. Now we see the truck next to us like a wall next to our vehicle, and our vehicle sees that it can't go there. The goal is to reduce the number of accidents, but the problem is a self-driving car has to process information from its cameras in real time. The car of the future will no doubt process several hundred megabytes of data. That's an amount that seems incredibly daunting today. But processing technology is constantly moving forward, so we'll be able to process the data and create steering commands based on it. For software developers, forward-thinking traffic systems are a growth market. Programmers at the company PTV, for instance, demonstrate how traffic could work in the future, with cars that report where they are, thus warning other vehicles of things like traffic congestion. But for that to work, it needs as many vehicles as possible to be constantly online. So IT companies like PTV are moving into the car-making business. It will expand the sector. You can already see that car makers aren't selling just hunks of metal, but also the intelligence that will set one vehicle apart from the other. The networked car is still just a futuristic dream, but attempts at implementing it are starting now, and it's a huge business. It's estimated there are more than one billion vehicles on the road worldwide. No wonder German telecommunications company Telekom is positioning itself to get involved. Very different companies will move into this sector in the future. We already see that Google is involved, and the industry has to become a service industry. From my point of view, there's a real revolution on the horizon where the car industry will have to become an integral part of the Internet world. Telecom already makes it possible for automobile passengers to have a kind of mobile office where they can work online. But who will be in the driver's seat on the road? Will it be the IT business or the car makers? At Europe's number one car maker, they of course think it will be the automobile industry. Volkswagen CEO Martin Winterkorn says he's not worried about the new challengers. Software alone can't give you mobility. Physics tells us that for movement, you need a mechanical apparatus, and that's the car. I think that Google and Apple and the others have seen that. In order to be successful, you'd best pair up with someone who can provide the hardware. That's why we're cooperating with Google. And we're holding discussions with Apple too, of course. Cooperation between software companies and car makers is kind of trendy right now. That's because the car makers have to work together with their toughest competitors. The new technologies leave them no choice. Car companies now have to learn what companies like Google can already do, process large amounts of data quickly, efficiently and safely. So there's a lot of pressure? A lot of pressure, but the automotive industry is used to that. With all sides stepping on the gas to create the car of the future, it's now a question of who will get there first. <laughs>